Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we turn our hearts and minds to Psalm 6, a poignant and heartfelt cry for mercy from King David. In this psalm, David is overwhelmed with distress and sorrow, but he also expresses profound faith and hope. This psalm offers us valuable lessons on how to approach God in times of trouble and find solace in His presence. Let us explore Psalm 6 and draw strength and understanding from its message. Reading of Psalm 6 O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. I am in deep distress. All night long I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be overwhelmed with shame and anguish. They will turn back and suddenly be put to shame. A cry for mercy, David begins this psalm with a plea for mercy, acknowledging his own frailty and need for God's compassion. He asks, O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. David's plea reminds us that it is okay to come before God in our weakness and desperation. We are encouraged to be honest with God about our struggles and to seek His mercy and we are burdened. The application in our own lives, when we face distress or feel overwhelmed by our circumstances, let us follow David's example and turn to God with our honest cries. He is a compassionate Father who listens to our prayers and extends His mercy. The depth of sorrow, David describes his suffering with vivid imagery. I float my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. His deep sorrow is evident and it highlights the intensity of his distress. Yet even in his anguish, David remains focused on God as his source of hope and healing. We all experience times of deep sorrow and distress. It is important to acknowledge our pain and seek God's comfort. Just as David turned to God, we too should bring our tears and burdens to Him, knowing that He understands and cares for us deeply. Confidence in God's response, despite His suffering, David expresses confidence that God has heard His cry. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy, the Lord accepts my prayer. David's faith shines through his lament. He trusts that God would respond to his plea and that his enemies will be put to shame. 
Trusting in God's response even when we don't immediately see answers to our prayers is crucial. Our faith should be anchored in the belief that God hears us and will act according to his perfect will and timing. We can find peace in knowing that God's response is always aligned with his love and wisdom. Victory over adversaries. David concludes this psalm with a declaration of victory. All my enemies will be overwhelmed with shame and anguish. They will turn back and suddenly be put to shame. This reflects his confidence that God will vindicate him and address his adversaries. While we may face opposition or challenges, we can trust that God is our defender. He will act on our behalf and bring justice in his way and time. Our focus should remain on seeking his presence and relying on his strength, rather than on the position we face. Psalm 6 is a beautiful reminder of the power of turning to God in our moments of deepest need. David's cry for mercy, expression of sorrow. His confidence in God's response and his assurance of victory offer us a model for how we can approach God with our struggles. As we reflect on this psalm, let us remember to bring our burdens to God with honesty, to trust in his response, and to rest in his assurance of justice and healing. May we find comfort and hope in knowing that our cries are heard, our pain is understood, and our God is faithful. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for your mercy and compassion. Just as David cried up to you in his distress, we bring our own burdens and sorrows before you. We ask for a healing touch, your comfort in our pain, and your strength in your, our trials. Help us to trust in your response and to find peace in your presence. Thank you for being a faithful and loving God who hears our cries and answers our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.